Welcome back. So you may remember last time I mentioned that we had this uh, leak in the upper redrive housing. So I didn't want to waste any time with uh, seeing if I could solve that. So it was time to pull it apart. And as you can see, I've removed it from the uh, engine or from the engine mount. And I'm just going through the process there of undoing the bolts and such, as you've seen before, if you've been following along. Um, and the plan was to just use some of this new uh, sealant that I'd got, which was recommended for, you know, like a, ga a gasket replacement. And just put that in there and hopefully seal it up. But uh, at the same time, this was another opportunity to see, um, you know, what the journal bearings and stuff were looking like after we actually ran it up to pretty, you know, decent power levels um, last week. So, um, yeah. And just waiting to see what's inside there and meanwhile Devin and Jeff continue to work on the four plane and as you can see it's got a uh, guide coat on there and it's they're sort of halfway through sanding the upper surface again after doing some fill spots there so not too long to go before that one's done but you know it's quite a reasonable size area and there's both sides to do but it's coming along and unfortunately this is what it looks like on the inside of the redrive and that's not what you want to see the journal bearings um, completely scored there so and it's just on the one side on the lower side so um, what's happened and what we believe has happened is that the force um, and then you can see the scoring on the actual shaft itself the force from the um, from the belt pulling down on the pulleys there has just added way too much force there on the um, on the journal bearings and you can see even the thrust washer there is worn unevenly and there was indications of this when we had it apart after the first run but after a decent run you can see it shot so uh, unfortunately here's the old redrive and just basically pulled that out of mothballs and just checking the inside there to make sure that the grease in the bearings and stuff looks good so we're going to have to revert to this one for testing and uh, unfortunately that means that we won't have um, the constant speed prop available for testing we're just going to have to set the prop to a static pitch and uh, go with that and then figure out our redesign while this is all going on and get that sorted out for production but anyway as you can see i've got the old redrive on there because i know this one runs and it runs fine and it just won't be able to adjust the, the pitch on the prop and while it, uh, installing that i also had to block up the oil feed lines and also the return line so there's the, one of the feed lines there coming out of the governor and the other one i just showed you and this is the return line so I just put caps on all of those so we, we don't have those loose lines there. And uh, so yeah, it's, it's really it's a total bummer having this happen. And uh, got the battery there on the charge as well, just to keep that topped up. But yeah, I'm really uh, just such a blow um, to have this happen now. But you know, I can't all of a sudden stop and not do flight testing because we don't have uh, constant speed drive. So anyway, um, next morning, I'm out here and I'm testing it and running it up and down a little bit and actually the purpose of the testing today was to see how uh, how it was handling under taxing in terms of being able to turn and uh, also uh, track straight so the first run that I did out there, there you can see um, some of the performance numbers there and then I did like a one um, heavy run up there to about 3700 rpm that's what you're looking at there and that one there looked like it was pushing out about 340 horsepower or something like that. Um, but anyway, and then the afternoon uh, I did another run that you'll see here in a little bit. And Jeff and Devin are getting pretty close with the four plane here, so you can see you got that all sanded. And what Jeff's doing there is just filling a little low spot, a couple of low spots there where the little uh, sort of tongue sticks out there next to where the elevator is. And he's also bonding those skins together there. And on the uh, intake scoop there, he's gone and put some fill on the inside of that one so he can actually smooth that out a little bit more. And there's what he was filling there before on the four plane. So it's getting close on that one, probably one more day and they'll be on to uh, doing the finish work on the wings. So in the afternoon, I took uh, the aircraft to the other side of the runway and uh, did some taxi testing.
And the goal here was to test how well it uh, tracks in a straight line and also how well it turns with the differential braking. As you can see, it wasn't having any problems uh, keeping it in a straight line. respect to turning just sort of tapping the brake on the one side there um, gets the nose wheel turned and enough to sort of start the rotation then a good tap to straighten it back out again when you're done So I did quite a few runs up and down and uh, you know, tested turning left and turning right and keeping a straight uh, course there and uh, took it up to maybe I think 22 knots ground speed. And overall I'm really happy with how it's steering. It's able to pull into a really tight turning circle and you're able to get it out again. And uh, so overall that, uh, this is a good test and uh, passed. So as you can imagine I'm really disappointed about that redrive but uh, you know right now we just have to push on with the fixed pitch prop and uh, the reason why the center section and the panel is missing there is because I figured out uh, what that uh, problem was with the interference on the radio and it's actually the uh, Wi-Fi hotspot so I'm going to probably have to change that out and just use a regular uh, Wi-Fi router for routing the data from the ECU. So apart from the redrive I'm happy with the progress so far.
and that's our update for the first half of this week. Thanks again for watching and tune in again on Saturday and see what we get up to.